Hello, and welcome to the podcast. In this episode, we will discuss my observations and my take on airplane crashes. My take is based on common sense and not based on expert knowledge. My take is also based on wishful thinking that simulates science fiction. As we all know, traveling by airplane remains very safe compared to other modes of transportation. This is because of the implementations of lessons learned from previous crashes, as well as the implementation of new technologies and regulations. For a while, there have been few notable areas of safety concern that seem neglected by the aviation engineers, which, in my opinion, have sometimes led to near crashes of airplanes or even crashes. One area of concern is the airplane landing gear malfunction. According to my observation as a frequent flyer, the issue of landing gear malfunction is always in my mind during my air travels because it is one of the few areas that pops up on television showing airplanes landing flat with its belly due to landing gear malfunction. Luckily, in most of the situations, the landing was successful with little injuries and death. My concern is that despite the somewhat frequent occurrence of the landing gear issue, the experts in the industry do not see the urgency in developing a state-of-the-art technology as an alternative to the regular landing gear in case of any malfunction. I am therefore urging the scientists in the aviation industry to develop alternative ways for the airplane to land safely without the regular landing gear by basically converting what looks like a science fiction technology to a real life technology. One such science fiction alternative to landing gear is to build the belly of the airplane to permanently have short protruding tires at designated locations that makes it possible for the airplane to land on the short protruding tires rather than land with the flat metal belly. This might mean reducing the carrying capacity of the airplane due to the extra weight of the protruding tires. Secondly, all airplanes could be built to have speed reducing parachute at the tail to slow the speed of the airplane with landing gear issues so that the airplane could make a shorter run after landing. This technology already exists for spacecrafts landing after returning from the space. In addition to above two suggested innovations and technology, the aviation engineers could mandate every airport to build at least one emergency landing runway for potential landing issues of airplanes and equip the runway with state-of-the-art technology to ensure safe landing for airplanes with technical issues. The runway must be as long as humanly possible with rubber water sprinklers, soft non-inflammable materials 
that will collide with the airplane to reduce the speed, while at the same time preventing fire outbreak and physical disintegration of the body of the airplane. Another area of concern is the shifting of emphasis from safety to comfort or the elevation of comfort to the same level as safety during the design of an airplane. It appears that new airplanes are built with loaded softwares to make the airplane highly automated and also to make the jaws of the pilot easy and comfortable, as well as make the travel experience of the passengers very comfortable. However, the shifting from semi-manual operation of an airplane to highly automated airplane must be at a pace commensurate to the computer and software skills of the pilot. It is my opinion that airplane software must be designed in such a way that any abnormal signal must not lead to accidents or crashes. Again, I'm going to make science fiction suggestions that could be converted to real life technology. As all aware, Whenever airplane crashes, most investigations require data from the recovered black box to determine the possible causes of the crash and potential solutions to prevent another crash. In a similar situation, I suggest that Manufacturers of airplanes must consider designing a pre-crash brain box called the green box to assist the pilots to quickly detect, interpret, and resolve abnormal software signals that could lead to fatal outcome. Because of the urgency that might be needed to resolve abnormal signal in the air, the green box must have a component to accurately guide the pilot on what to do. And at the same time, help to resolve the issue. The green box must have an option to default to self-correct mode on its own or to default to manual operating system that the pilot could understand. For example, the green box could have a self-correct mode that could automatically be activated during takeoff and the initial climb malfunction of an airplane. The designers of airplanes should also consider designing airplanes with one or two extra resolve engines. I also suggest deployment of artificial intelligence technology into airplane software with massive amount of data collected during the design and improvement of airplane safety in the last century Computers could be trained to collect, interpret, and quickly resolve emergency airplane issues in the air 
with a matter of, within a matter of seconds to prevent deadly outcomes. In my opinion, aviation and air travel require urgent deployment of artificial intelligence to move air travel from very safe to, to near perfect safe. My take is that we cannot allow landing gear accidents or crashes to become normal. And we cannot feel helpless to an error in technology that could easily be mitigated or completely prevented. Thank you for taking time to listen to this short podcast. I urge you to subscribe to the podcast and also have your family and friends subscribe as well. We will discuss another societal issue in our next episode. I will ask you to stay tuned. Goodbye.